This week in science, we saw challenging human evolution, one flu jab to rule them all, and good news for baldies. Plus, what's this all about? Has the analysis of a 1.8 million year old skull turned our understanding of human evolution on its head? The skull of a human ancestor was found with four others in Georgia and combines physical features that are generally used to distinguish between different species. Researchers suggest that fossils previously classified as separate species may in fact all be the same, but displaying different physical appearances just like modern humans. This has been viewed with scepticism by many other archaeologists who say that it is a dramatic overinterpretation. We may be one step closer to one jab that protects us against all strains of the flu. When you get a flu vaccine, your body produces antibodies that are specific to that particular virus strain, meaning you need a new jab every year as the virus mutates. To tackle this, researchers injected mice with a drug that stops your body from producing virus-specific antibodies. When used together with the vaccine, the mice produced more general antibodies that protected them against several flu viruses at once. Researchers have developed small medical implants containing cells which are activated by light to increase insulin production. A child's level of math skills are evident at six months of age. Gum trees absorb gold particles through their roots, which are then deposited in their leaves, meaning gold literally does grow on trees. And good news for baldies. Researchers have grown human hair follicles for the first time. The bad news is the skin used came from circumcised foreskins. Did you know that A Week in Science is now available on iTunes, YouTube, Vimeo and various sites around the world including Science Alert, Cosmos Magazine and Sustainability TV. You can also hear A Week in Science on the Skeptic Zone podcast as well as around Australia on the Community Radio Network. Tell your friends there's no reason not to get their science news fix each week. That was A Week in Science and I'll see you next week.